If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. A few weeks ago, I was talking about Aviation and Alice. Electric plane Aviation hopes to launch by 2022. I also quipped at likelihood of Elon Musk thinking or working on an electric plane. Recently, Elon Musk tweeted about the idea of an electric plane, but he always remained reserved on the issue in the past. Recently though, the attitude has changed a bit. He remains very positive of the idea and I'll try to disseminate why electric plane is a good idea. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, but above all, the Patreon supporters and fans of my channel for your massive support. Anyone likes what I do, please consider supporting me through Patreon. It really helps. Also, check out my YouTube community page tab and join the conversation. You can also suggest topics for a future video. I would also like to thank Casper Bertensel for his generous donation towards my channel. Thank you very much. Just as arrival of electric car was long and coming, arrival of electric plane is taking its time. As with early electric car, which suffered from very short range, inefficient battery and electric power source, as well as costly manufacturing and novelty factor, the electric aircraft are short in coming and only a few manufacturers dared to tap into this yet untapped market. Pipestrel of Slovenia being one of the rare electric aircraft out there. Airbus Ifan, another aircraft concept, is gaining some serious coverage, mostly because it's Airbus and its plans to launch commercial electric hybrid aircraft within the next 20 to 30 years, replacing Airbus A320 family by 2040. Only recently at Farnborough Air Show in southern England, Aviation unveiled world's first electric passenger aircraft Alice, capable of 1,000 km range, carrying nine passengers and two crew. This is the first serious attempt at commercial mass electric aviation since dawn of aircraft. Yes, there were some attempts at electric flight, but never sitting more than four people and with range of less than 250 kilometers. Aviation hopes to offer electric aircraft that could be commercially viable and on market as early as 2023. Alice electric battery sadly weighs nearly 60% of the total weight of the aircraft, including 11 people on board meaning the aircraft without battery alone weighs less than 1600 kilograms which means it is made of ultra light material mostly advanced composites however with such a massive weight going only on the battery this limits the size of the aircraft for real commercial exploitation something that has been addressed before by elon musk and others who hope to initiate some form of electric or hybrid electric aircraft for commercial passenger market in not too distant future. What keeps real commercial exploitation of electric aircraft grounded is its heavy battery that at least so far has relatively low energy density per kilogram. Ideally, we need 500 watts per kilogram in terms of energy density. What we are working with now is 250 watt or half the exploitable value for successful commercial exploitation. What we are already starting to see is electric airplane programs like Pipistrel Alpha Electra All Electric Plane and Siemens and Magnus E Fusion. But battery technology still needs to improve in order to have commercial aircraft like we have today. To this effect, a number of companies are looking at alternatives to lithium ion battery technology. Most promising battery tech at the moment is solid state battery, which could see operational service within the next few years definitely before 2025. The promise of solid state battery technology is energy density, which can reach up to 800 watts per kilogram. Yet battery itself weighs considerably less than current lithium ion battery technology. All major automakers and Airbus itself are investing heavily in solid state battery research. However, technology, despite being very promising, won't be the long-term solution for commercial aviation but is a step in the right direction, with energy density between 320 and 840 watts per kilogram. Solid state battery promises what lithium ion battery failed to, a long range cars with 1500 kilometer or more. 
and start of light commercial aviation. I say light as again ranges offered by solid state battery even with 800 watts per kilogram won't allow commercial airlines to switch to electric propulsion alone. Reasons for Airbus pitching e-fan and e-thrust technology, which will see development of first commercial airliners with hybrid electric propulsion. However, the holy grail of battery technology is lithium air battery, which promises nearly 1200 watts per kilogram. The technology, once fully operational, promises truly electric commercial jetliners, offering passenger comfortable flight up to 8,000 km range. Sadly, this technology is at least a decade away, if not longer. However, Airbus is working on this tech since 2015. So, what are Elon Musk's plans for electric aircraft? Recently, Tesla has purchased US-based solid-state battery maker Maxwell. Well, Maxwell in-house development dry lithium-ion battery that has significantly improved energy battery density by 25-30% to 30 and indications are Maxwell could increase energy density of dry lithium-ion battery to 700 watts per kilogram by 2025. The improvement of a current Tesla battery technology is startling by as much as 25% currently. The reason why Tesla bought the technology is it will potentially give future Tesla cars massive increase on range and a reduced cost. Musk has long been talking about all modes of transport going electric at some point, except for rockets. Years ago, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX even said he had designs for electrical vertical takeoff aircraft though he never elaborated on plans to bring the aircraft to production. In order for his design to work, that the energy density of batteries needs to improve. A few weeks ago, Musk updated his expected timeline for the energy density to improve enough to enable battery-powered airplanes. Musk explains that jet fuel beats batteries when it comes to energy density, but the efficiency gains means that you don't need as much energetic potential. When he revealed that he had a design for an electric VTOL aircraft, Musk estimated that lithium-ion batteries would need to achieve 400 watts per kilogram of energy density in order for batteries to beat kerosene and his electric aircraft to be viable. Today, battery cells with high cycles are achieving around 300 watts of energy density. Over the last few years, I've seen a surprising number of companies unveiling e-VTOL aircraft designs and even a few working prototypes. There has been a lot of money flowing to the startups developing those vehicles. It looks like they have been developing all the subsystems they need to build such an aircraft in order to be ready once the battery technology can catch up. Tesla is definitely at the forefront of battery technology and it could be an interesting new industry and very interesting strategy for the company, combining expertise in aerospace and batteries of Musk's two main companies, SpaceX and Tesla. Either way, if battery energy density is improved by over 30% over the next five years, resulting in smaller commercial electric planes but also have an impact on Tesla cars and other electric vehicles, making EVs cheaper, lighter and with potentially much greater range. Tesla bought Maxwell Technologies for their dry battery technology. Maxwell proved 300 watts per kilogram energy density, which is around 20 to 40% better than current Tesla batteries. Maxwell has a path between 15 to 25% improvement over every two, three years. This should lead to around 500 watts per kilogram by 2027. This could give Tesla a five year battery lead on the rest of the world. Tesla could get a three-year pure technology lead and two-year lead by more rapidly scaling production at its gigafactories. Tesla could reach $50 per kilowatt hour with 500 watts per kilogram. This would mean half the weight in batteries while producing the same level of energy as the best 250 watt per kilogram batteries today. This would mean $4,000 instead of $12,000 in batteries for 80 kilowatt battery pack. There is a possibility of development of very first passenger aircraft based on the new battery technology. 
However, at first perhaps, smaller 50-seat commuter planes servicing up to 1000 km range. For more serious A3 size aircraft, battery technology would need to improve somewhat. From projected 500 watts per kilogram in energy density by 2027 to around 700-800 watts per kilogram. Again, this is highly speculative now, as even with that power density, the range would still be quite limited, perhaps 1600 to 2000 kilometers. But I'm sure Tesla and other airplane manufacturers will need to crunch the numbers. Either way, don't expect larger electric passenger aircraft before 2032. The clear indication, at least to me, will have electric cars that will contain very efficient batteries offering amazing 1600 km range within a decade from now. But more importantly, the emergence of electric aircraft and eventually large commercial aircraft that will replace current jet planes such as Boeing 737 and Airbus A320s with more efficient green aircraft. How soon could this happen will depend on battery breakthroughs and how much investment is poured by bigger players into emerging technologies. Airbus is quite keen on this and they are way ahead of any competition. However, with Tesla getting into the aviation game, might prompt Boeing to start investing into emerging high-density and solid-state battery technology.